Oh. One more time. Oh, yeah. I just have a quick question. I was wondering if someone could help me with if you have a minute. Sure. Um, it's just about something I saw um, on the news. Um, I could just um, – Let's see if I could just read it to you. It's a couple of sentences. I just wanted to see if it's true. You know how you read stuff on the internet? It might not be true. So Nothing on the internet's true, mostly. But anyway, go ahead. Okay. It, well, it's just a news thing. It's about, um, well, it just says here, Philip Brumley, legal counsel for Jehovah's Witnesses and head of the legal department at the headquarters, has been fined $154,448. He submitted an affidavit to the District Court of Montana where he used language where, that... Can I, can I ask where you're calling from? Um, my house. Oh, I mean, is that in Michigan? No, no. I, I don't really want to... What? Is, that from, is your number from Arizona? Yeah, yeah. Is that a problem? Yeah. No, it's just you called here before and... We've talked before. Oh, good. And, well, great, because I want to see what yeah. you think. What do you think about this? So what they I have no comment on No it, comment? I really don't want to com- um, continue the conversation any longer because in talking to you before, uh-huh. it's never gone anywhere. Okay. So um, you guys only believe things that are in JW.org, basically, right? I'm not saying that. Uh-huh. I'm just saying that I don't think this conversation is going to go anywhere. And you have a really good day. So do you think if he... if he Bye. Do- this is Christine. I got your number from the Kingdom Hall. Pardon me? Um, my name is Christine. I got your number from the Kingdom Hall. Yes. Um, yeah, I just have a quick question if you have a minute. Sure. Yeah, well, um, it's concerning something um, interesting I saw in the news and... Um, I just wanted to run it by you and see if it's really true. I don't, I don't know if it's fake news or not. I just wanted to check, check it out. If you know about this, I'll just read you a couple sentences here that I, that I read. Okay. Um, well, it's about the, um, a man named Philip Brumley. He's the head of the legal department of the organization in New York. And um, he was fined $154,448 and what he's fined for is he submitted an affidavit to the United States District Court of Montana, wherein he used language that was, quote, intentional and sustained effort to deceive the court. And that was used as evidence in two cases involving child sexual abuse. Um, I just wondered if you heard about that. Uh, no, uh, it doesn't sound like it's... Uh... Uh, anything that that would be true, so um, I'm sure you. Uh, it, it, it's you know, on several. Things, it's on several sources. Yeah, some such things are not permitted. I mean, it, if he was uh, uh, if he was involved in anything like that, he would certainly be put out of the congregation. If he if he deceived the court, he would be. Uh, uh, yes, that would be okay. You know, breaking the law, yeah. Yeah, we, the, don't, we don't stand for breaking the law. As well right, as other, right. Well, That's a know. big fine. He got one hundred fifty four thousand four hundred forty eight. Is that going to come from the the donations that Jehovah's Witnesses give, or can he uh, afford that, or what? How's he going to pay that? No, that would. Uh, if he was gu- guilty of such things, uh-huh. that would come out of his own pocket. So. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Uh, Yes. He's pretty so, high up. Does he make that much money working for the Watchtower? Oh, no, he doesn't. Uh, okay. <laughs> he might have to get a loan, I guess, huh? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> well, if you want to check it out, his I can I can tell you his name if you want to see if it you can find any more on it. Um, it's not on JW.org. Um, their news section doesn't include any negative um, news about them, but his name is Philip Brumley, B-R-U-M-L-E-Y. Uh, maybe you can find out more. I don't know, but I just wanted to see what you guys thought about it. So, um, okay, well, thanks so much. Thank you very much. God bless Bye. you. It's kind of echoing. Oh, it's better now. No, I'm kind of, oh, sorry. I'm kind of hearing a little echo there. But, oh, okay. Is it better now? Uh, I think so. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, it's just about something I read in the news. I just want to see if you had heard of it or if it's fake news or something like that. You know, you can't believe everything you see, you read about, you know. Mm-hmm. 
Do you mind if I just read you a couple sentences about it? Um, sure. Where are you from? Like, who, who am I speaking with? If I might uh, know. Christine. Christine? Okay. Yeah. And are, are you from the area? No, no. I just wanted to no? ask a witness about this. Um, you know, I, sometimes I see them in my area, but not all the time, you know, that like it, um, with uh-huh. their magazines and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, yeah. what it says is, um, the head of the legal department of the watchtower in New York, Philip Brumley has been fined $154,448. Um, he submitted an affidavit to the district court of Montana, wherein he used language that was quote, intentional and sustained effort to deceive the court. Oh, I'm- I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, You're no, sorry. I appreciate the call. Is yeah, that fake um, news? I I'm not aware of anything. Like okay. That, if, uh, we have a website jw.org. Yeah. And it has a whole newsroom section. Yeah. And there's even a way to write in mm-hmm. um, questions or concerns. So I would go about it that way. Yeah, I I've yeah, I've looked at that so. that part on the website, you know, off and on, and um. The thing is, they don't have anything about negative news relating to the organization, whether it was like the Australia Royal Commission, court cases, payouts, um, things like that. They don't, there aren't any. I, I've noticed that. They have a lot of negative news about other religions, but, um, you know, to me, it just seems like propaganda if they don't have the real, you know, things that are really, truly happening and have happened. So, um yeah, I, I would you would you discount it if it wasn't on the news section? Then you you believe it must not be true. Then is that what you're saying? I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm going to need to go. Okay. Thank uh, you. For the the, call, the cases involve child sexual abuse. Yeah. Can you imagine I'm deceiving the court on the news? And I just wanted to ask um, you all about it. I don't know if it's fake news or real or what, but. Um, I'm just going to read you this couple of sentences. It says that um, the head of the legal department at Watchtower headquarters is named Philip Brumley, and he was fined $154,448. Um, he submitted an affidavit to the United States District Court of Montana, wherein he used language that was, quote, intentional and sustained effort to deceive the court. And that affidavit was used in two cases involving child sexual abuse. Um, is that true? Uh, I cannot answer that because oh, okay. I have not seen. I, I, you know, I'd have to go into the website and look at the legal rules. You know? at, at what web, what website is that? Uh, JW. Oh, oh, I, I've seen their news section. They, they don't include any negative news about Jehovah's Witnesses. So I, it's, I'm pretty sure it's not on there last time I checked. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd have to look myself. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, what would you, do you accept any other sources? Uh, is that the only source you accept? It, do you assume it's not true if you don't see it on there? Uh, <laughs> do I what? Well, if you don't see it on JW.org, does that mean it's it's fake news or it's not true or something like that? It uh, could very well be, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there again, you know, I would have to. Well, a- as I said, they don't include any negative That's news more, more of them. Than I do, you know. What? Pardon? I said I would have to, you know, uh, confer with somebody that has more knowledge about stuff like that than I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You could ask someone about it if it's not on the website, maybe. Yep. What would you think about that if he really did that, deceiving the court in regards to child sexual abuse cases? I would, uh, you know, uh, find that very unlikely. But in the case of the, uh, uh, if it was true, you know, it would be very discouraging to have somebody in that position. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but yeah. humans being imperfect, we never know. Yeah, I, I think it goes kind of beyond imperfect. It's um, that's a very serious offense in things relating yep. to court case, especially involving children. Yep. So, um, anyways, well, um, if you want to look it up, his name is Philip Brumley, B R U M L E Y. Um, yeah, and if you put like um, court Montana or find 
something like that, yeah. things will come up. And like I said on JW.org, I've never seen a negative uh, legal outcome on their website at all. And there have right, been yeah. many. So I'm not sure what seems yeah. more like propaganda to me. But um, yep. yeah, so thanks so much. All right, very good. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, I just had a question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Well, it's about something I saw on the internet. I don't know if it's true or not, but I just wanted to see if you had heard about it. Do you have a minute? Oh, okay. Well, it's about the um, head of the legal department of Watchtower. His name is Philip Brumley. Um, he has been fined one hundred fifty-four thousand four hundred forty-eight dollars. Um, concerning an affidavit he submitted to the United States District Court of Montana. And they um, said that he used language that was, quote, intentional and sustained effort to deceive the court. So that affidavit was used in... Uh, I don't, I don't think that... I don't know where you get that information from. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so um, his, if you want to... Uh, hello? wondering if someone could help me with? I guess so. Do you have a minute? Well, just one second here. I can put my son out for you. Okay. Okay, okay just a minute. Thank you. Hello? Hi, uh, my name is Christine. I just have a quick question. I was wondering if someone would help me with. Okay. Do you have a minute? I will try. Yep. Yep. Well, it's I just... Do. It's just something I read in the news, um, you know, it was on the internet, so I don't know if it's really true. So I just wanted to see what you guys thought about it. But um, it says that the head of the legal department at Watchtower headquarters has been fined $154,448. Um, did you ever hear about that? No. Okay. No, I haven't heard about it yet. Well, on June 22nd, 2020, he submitted an affidavit to the district court of Montana, you know, to be, it was to be uh, evidence for two child sexual abuse cases. And um, they've determined that he used language that was an intentional and sustained effort to deceive the court. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to see if that's true or if you heard of that. Yeah, no, I haven't heard anything about it. Um, That that was in Montana. Was it dealing with somebody in Montana? Do you know? Well, the he submitted an affidavit, which means like points he would see as evidence to help the Watchtower in those two court cases regarding uh -huh. child sexual abuse. He wasn't involved in being accused of that, and um, they essentially there he's being fined that much, uh, basically for lying. I yeah I don't know I I don't even know of of a case in Montana. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they, um, it, they're called one's called K Cart and Mapley versus Watchtower. The other one's called Rowland and Schultz versus Watchtower. Oh okay. Um, what what news uh, um, provider is that from? Oh, well, this one, uh, you're not going to like this, but that's why I'm calling to ask. It's called avoidjw.org. Oh, okay. But they've bet proved, you know, pretty reliable. I don't I don't think they'd want to ruin their website with, with this. But and, and it does have hyperlinks to the cases so that you can see them. And you can also see the affidavit that he wrote, and they kind of break down what he was um, lying about. Huh. All right. Do you want me to send you the link to it or something? No, I'll, I'll, I'll find it somehow. Okay. Oh, want me to tell you the guy's name? It was Philip with one L, and his last okay. name is Brumley, B-R-U-M-L-E-Y. Okay. Maybe yeah. you could call headquarters to ask about it. He, I know he is one of the lawyers mm -hmm. there. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Can Does he make that much money to afford that much uh, fine? No, he doesn't make that much. Mm. Um, but he, you know, he he might have money from family or whatever. I I, mm. I don't know. I don't okay. know what. Did you catch uh, his how to spell his last name? 
when I said that? Yeah. I, okay. I'm very familiar with that name. Oh, okay. Philip, okay. Philip Bromley. Great. Okay. Well, um, th- thanks for talking to me about it. Um, I hope you'll check it out, but I was kind of shocked by it actually. So, um, th- yeah. 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 Thanks so much. Um, yeah. Thank you. Okay. I- I, I wish I could have known a little bit more about it to help. But yeah, no, those know. kind of things are not on JW.org. They do have a section called News, but um, there's a lot of detrimental things <laughs> that have gone on in court cases and um, payouts. They've made payouts for child sexual abuse and like something like the Australia Royal Commission on Child Sexual Abuse. You know, those things aren't on <laughs> JW.org, so... You know, yeah, I, yeah, I interesting. know there are, there are bad members around that do bad things, and then it affects the organization. You know, yeah, he's like not a, just a them. member. He's the head of the legal department. So, And also, the other cases are not about a bad member. They're about their policies of covering up and obstructing investigations. That's what they're about. Uh, so, okay. okay, well, hey, thanks for talking to me. Thanks for being so nice. All right. Okay, you. God bless you. Do you have a minute? Okay. I do. Okay. Um, well, it's about um, something I saw in the news. Um, I don't know if it's true or if it's fake news. You know, it's just on the internet. Um, you know how that is. Um, there is. Anyway, it's about a man named Philip Brumley, who is the head of the Watchtower Legal Department. He's a lawyer. Um, so it says here that Philip Brumley has been fined $154,448. And um, the reason was he submitted an affidavit to the District Court of Montana where he used language that was an intentional and sustained effort to deceive the court. And that was used at, in two cases involving child sexual abuse. Um, so I was just wondering if that's true. Oh, I would have never heard of such a thing in it. I wouldn't be able to comment on anything to do with that. I never, I never heard of such a thing. It doesn't sound like our brothers and sisters are acting that way, but I don't know. I mm. mean, I, I don't have a comment to make on that. Yeah. Um, Wish I could help you. I can't find it on JW.org. You know, they have a news yeah. section. But I did notice um, over the years of kind of checking that for different things that were true, they only they don't include negative things like this on their news section. So um, I don't know. I mean, I do I do find that they mm-hmm. they do talk about um, some cases that have gone to court and they mm-hmm. have lost involving sexual you know activities, right? Oh, I, do, I, I, I I'll check that again. Know, I haven't noticed that. I, I actually I mean, it, seems yeah, like well, they leave I, them I, out. I, no, I mean we're 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 notified. I mean, these things can happen. They're, we're dealing with people, so people can can conduct themselves poorly, right? And we just do all we can to protect and care for, you know, our loved ones, right? Yeah, yeah, that that can happen anywhere. But the the ones that are an issue is the court cases where they've lost, where they showed that they did not call the police, that they they, obstructed investigations and things. The instructions are to call the police. Off, off no, the they've, they've actually had what's called the two witness rule that it's not even considered unless there was two witnesses. Um, no, that's, that's not, that's not accurate. That's old school stuff. You're not up to date. That's the old school. We used to behave that way, thinking it was the right way. But now any case involving a child, the first thing we do is call the police. Well, that's, we that's disputed by many people because um, okay. some people say okay. they okay. only do that where it's, um, you mean, know, I, required. I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what the, the purpose of the call is. Okay. You, well, I just you, wanted to, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to just okay. get your side and see if it's fake news. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I don't know. You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't have any answer for you on that. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you. Yeah, that's a pretty serious thing, Ob- obfuscating the is. truth in, in child sex abuse cases. Um, so it is. We're very interested in keeping ourselves together, just like you would be if you went to a high school, uh, you, know, call, you know, cafeteria with a lot of people. You want to make sure everybody's safe, too, you know? Yeah, so why, why did, you know, th- this is pretty shocking if it is true. His his name, if you want to look it up, is Philip Brumley, B-R-U-M-L-E-Y. So. 
Okay. Well, hey, thanks. Thanks for uh, talking. Bye-bye. God bless.